what's up guys uh, Sean here again and today I'm on my way back to Brakpan that's in the East Rand and um, I'm going to go and check out a very special BMW so uh, this BMW E30 has been built by uh, Manny from Potent Car Audio and we definitely think it's one of the best show cars in the country at the moment and that's why we're on the way there to bring you guys this, this vlog so um, if you guys enjoy this content please do subscribe and hit the like button and share with your friends and family guys and then um, we'd also like to give a shout out to all of you guys that's been supporting us um, we, we, we appreciate the support so much and it really humbles us guys thank you for watching and if you'd like to see one of South Africa's best modified E30s please stay tuned guys So what's up guys, I'm uh, finally out at the shop, this is in uh, the East Rand, like I said, Drakpan. Um, this is what we've come to see today guys. There we are, she's aired out, parked outside the infamous photo shoot spot. This is uh, at the workshop, they work from home. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful car, guys. There's so much to unpack on this car. I don't even know where to start, eh? You guys saw it briefly at the Toys for Boys show. But, you know, there were so many people around at the show. We didn't get a good opportunity to chat to the owner and find out what's so special about this car. Looking at it, firstly... You gotta love yourself a works wheel. Nice VS works wheel. Flower there. Fat dish on the back. Uh, you can see it's got an IS body kit. Now what's special about this body kit is that it's a four door IS body kit. You don't really find these in South Africa because obviously we only got IS. We never got um, any 320 IS or anything that was four door. Another special thing there, we've got the wipers on the lights. So those were most definitely important. We don't get those in South Africa at I all. Those from Turkey. This here is Manny. How are you doing, Manny? Good, yourself, man. Good thanks. Um, so Manny is the owner of Potent Car Audio. We saw the car at Toys for Boys and we said we have to come and feature no, this guy. Yeah. Welcome anytime. And then feature the shop as well because obviously Manny and them did all this work in-house guys. 100%. They've got all the machinery, whatever you need. They do uh, interiors, they got a spray booth, yeah. they do air suspension, boot installs, whatnot. Um, they've even got their own CNC machine guys. So uh, you can see there, those are custom door handles that they've used the CNC on to get that Potent O logo. Uh, potent O being uh, zero, right? Zero. So they have Potent Zero, and then over there you can see Potent Two on the on the E46, and then he's got an E36, and that's Potent One. So uh, this is some of the work that they do. This car's name is Jador, right? That's French for? My love. French for my love, guys. So check out there. You see they've got the stickers there as well. There's laser engraved. Laser engraved. Not even a sticker onto there, guys. Laser engraved. And then you can see there, they've also used the CNC machine to do some cutouts on that um, plexiglass over there. So it's, it's quite a nice setup. Um, over there, you can see the JL Audio Sub. 
So it looks like the sub is, is at the bottom, but that's actually the reflection of the sub on a mirror. So the, the sub is mounted and it's facing upwards over there. He's got the JL audio amplifiers there as well. Um, what's this that you have here in the boot? It's a, it's a mix of uh, leather and like uh, Alcantara. It's genuine leather, genuine Al Alcantara and spray panels. So yeah, no guys, you can see the quality of the work that's done there. Um, we got that Pfeffer stickers, uh, Pfeffer custom sticker over there. Yeah, that's um, the test fit uh, management system. And um, you uh, to work very closely with Pfeffer Customs because yeah, obviously on all the cars we saw at Toys for Boys. That's my brother that we work very very close together. So he does most of the air suspension setups. We do the boot setups for most of his cars. Yeah. So um, a very interesting uh, topic that's been trending on TikTok is, you know that uh, Manny won the show at Toys for Boys. He was the show winner as voted by the audience because the green golf and manny's car were tied for points so they asked the audience to choose the audience chose jador and uh manny decided to give the prize over to the green car he yeah, wanted to was... prove to them that it is not about winning yeah it's not about winning you don't come to shows to win yeah, you so... build us for What happened was is it was a, a bunch of events that came up there the, um, the sportsmanship wasn't too good so what happened was is whenever the people were cheering for Jador they were booing us so I looked at it and I was like you know what uh, we don't really need that we don't need to have that type of uh, bad sportsmanship bad vibes going on so I just looked at it and I said you know what we don't need a trophy to show us how good our cars are how, how for bragging rights basically we are not trophy hunters so I just gave it away we you don't see? need best of show, we can give it away, man. Exactly. And it's not always about winning. Man, you are telling us it's about family time. It's he about goes family there. time. It's about, about like with us, we we had almost seven cars at Toys for Boys. Of the seven cars, basically all of them won. All yeah. of them took a trophy, including Jador. So that is the main thing that we wanted, is that we wanted to build the industry because that's ultimately what we want. We're 25 years in this industry, so there's no other way than to do it that same way. Build up the industry, make it a, a good place, and make the young people want to be and be part of it. You know, that's... that's that's ultimately what we want. And the interesting thing is that this car's been uh, been in progress since like 2016. 2016. They've been parts building, for collecting for parts. Like this body kit, like I told you, it's not from South Africa. It's imported. Many has got parts from all over the world to yeah. complete that set, guys. So just to say like a few things I got. A few of the body panels from London, I got a few from Romania, I got uh, uh, the headlight wipers from Turkey, the, um, I've got the uh, M3 uh, engine bay covers that I got as well from uh, Denmark, I got a lot of stuff, the boot spoiler actually came from Ukraine, so that was uh, uh, long before all this nonsense happened, yeah, so I've got all of those things, I, and I managed to get a lot of stuff from all over the world, yeah. And then uh, if we look on the interior here, yeah, there's a lot of custom third bits that they've done here too. Like I said, they've done the whole build inside uh, the workshop here. So uh, we'll go in the workshop later. You can see from the door panel here, a lot has been custom. There's a lot that's standard, but with a, a custom touch, you know. Those uh, tweeters over there, we've had to build that whole enclosure yeah, Those are, are mid-rangers. Muds? Okay. Yeah. So those are, are mid-rangers and not tweeters. And then we've got another set of those muds mud over races. here. Gladden audio. So uh, I see a lot of the cars you have have Gladden audio. Our brand, yes. What can you tell us about Gladden? Because we oh, know man. nothing about oh, it. Google it. They, they, uh, they won top... Uh, uh, accolades for a few years, you know, so 
Claren is really top stuff, eh? top shelf stuff. And they do subwoofers, amplifiers, yeah, mid rangers. So, do you guys import it? Um, a friend of mine, Suleiman Sukaria from High Grade, yeah. he's the guy that is bringing it in. But we are one of the dealers for them, and that's that's something that I wouldn't I wouldn't even look at anything else when it comes to sound. Yeah. He's probably one of the sole dealers because so he's the distributor. Yeah, yeah, I haven't he's, seen he's it. He's the main distributor, and we are uh, uh, the dealer. Okay. There are a few guys in Durban, and things are starting to pick up now as well. But I was the first dealer for Gladden and we started it in 2014. So uh, I've been pushing the brand with Sully for, for Sully actually for so long. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the touches there, the, the Gladden system we don't see. The interior here yeah, you can, can see. Show you quickly. Yeah. The whole under of the dash is Alcantara, yeah. including the stock. Okay. So you check all there. That side has got Alcantara as well. Okay. This panel over here where the, where the, the seat belts are yes. is black Alcantara. Okay. So we've used a mixture of grey Alcantara, black Alcantara and Bentley uh, leather on the car. And then we see you've got some nice custom seat belts there. Yeah, that obviously are, wasn't done either originally. Those right? are, I actually got it made for me from a company in the UK. That's quite nice, eh? And uh, obviously, if you got guys that want to build E30s, they can bring it through and you can oh, do yeah, the same we, thing we, for we, them, we're mate. We're currently building one now. We're building one for a customer of ours. So, uh, that car is going to be also something very nice. And the seat, I see you went with the original look, original stick that... Um, it's very, very clean, eh? Yeah. You can see the quality there, no folds in the leather guys, Nothing. everything done in house. Once again, I wish you guys could smell what it smells like in here. It smells like fresh leather. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, over there, there's quite a few things on the dashboard that have been 3D uh, printed as well. The gear knob being one of them. Yes. Custom made 3D printed gear knob, um, potent car audio has their own 3D printer as well. And then over here, this little housing there, that houses the, the phone for the air suspension. Yeah. That is also 3D printed in-house by, uh, by them. And then uh, we've got these labels on the seats, which they've also done themselves. So they've got the capability to do a lot in-house. Nothing needs to go out. Um, the, the, the pouch here on the gear knob also feels lovely guys. Is that also a Alcantara yeah, there? Alcantara. Yeah, I know. It's a lovely build guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for E30 builds. On that side you can see what it looks like when the door is closed. It's, it looks like it could have been something that BMW did themselves. Then here in the back We've got um, the, the roll cage over there. Also custom built in-house. Yeah, custom in-house, same color as the car. Yeah. Um, it's obviously not a functional roll cage, it's no, for okay. show. It's for show. Yeah, it's, 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 you know, you guys see all these international car shows. You know, a lot more guys are going for the roll cage look. You know, if you don't want Owens in the back seat, go a roll cage. That's the best part. <laughs> the best part. And then you see those same labels that they did on the front seat, they have on the back seat as well. Did it in-house. And then the subwoofer faces up through that section that comes on the backboard. And you a, can... nice, a nice little touch that we have is that if you look at that, that uh, logo of ours yeah? there, it's actually our brake light as well. Okay, so this potent O works as your up, brake light. It lights up red every time I brake. Oh, that's lovely, eh? And then that as well, you've got it embossed on the mirror. No, it's laser engraved. Laser engraved on yeah. the mirror as well. As with this one here. Yes. Um, see, you just look out for that logo, guys. Most of the cars that many builds, you'll see the potent car audio yeah. logo there. I saw the red RXI there as well. Yes. Uh, I, you guys probably built it once upon a time. Very eh? long time. It's actually grey RXI. Grey, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Interior, yes. yes, yes. So, um, quite a lovely setup we got here, guys. Air suspension is a full art air, air suspension yes. setup. With a test fit uh, management system. Yeah, no. Um, Manny was fortunate enough to, to win the management yeah, I system. I won the management system. But um, you can see how lovely it's set up here. 
Uh, this is obviously adjustable over yeah, so here. It gives you dampening control. Okay. So what you can do is you can actually set up the car if you want it to ride softer or harder. Okay. But one of the things as well is this is a camber adjustment. So it offer, um, uh, gives you the opportunity to move your wheel in, in or and out. out. Yes. That's beautiful. Like You guys can see in there. You can see it looks a little bit like a coil over at the bottom there. But obviously it's an air strut. But we do know that art air coil overs have the, the ability to be used with air suspension yes so, so if you the buy things, the coil over you can yeah. upgrade it so at a later of, stage one of the things is, is that if you do go with the art air coil over they offer a bag over coil which means that you can add your your bag afterwards onto it so you don't have to still buy the whole strut and the whole things from there as well so for you guys who can't afford uh, air suspension at the moment you can start with the coil overs yeah. from Arte and eventually you can upgrade it yeah. and make it a, a air setup yeah so you can see the lovely IS uh, bumper in the front and then Manny and his team have uh, customized this lip over here, guys. Yes. They cut that lip themselves. It's not 3D printed or anything. That's custom. Pure custom work. Uh, you want to intro us to the team here? Yeah. I see over there. That's Philip. Philip is our... our uh, Philip is uh, our upholstery technician. He's the one that handles all the upholstery work for us. Um, so he does that. And then over here, we've got... Uh, uh, my nephew Siobhan. Siobhan is part of the fabrication team. He does uh, uh, all the, the woodwork and uh, all of those things, fiberglassing and everything. Then we've got Suli. Suli is our, our uh, media partner from SB Media Works. Then we've got the big boss Patrao. Everybody knows him. He likes chocolates. <laughs> So he's uh, he's our day, our this thing. Don't pull the stomach in you know you're looking very funny. <laughs> and then we've got our right hand man Andrew. Andrew does most of our fabrication, he does all of the stuff from there. So yeah, that's our team, eh? Oh yes, there's two guys missing. Yeah. Uh, John, our panel beater, he's not here, he's the guy that will spray the vehicle for us. Yeah. And Mayesh, he's our our uh, wiring technician, he likes to pull wire, so he's not here. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, but uh, you guys have definitely done an amazing job to bring this car together. Yeah, and then just to show you, Patrao is with me now 14 years. Yeah. Andrew is with me from, uh, I know him all my life, almost 30 years. We know each other, we're friends. But uh, on and off, he's been with me from 2015, but permanent from 2019. Uh, uh, Philip's been with me from 2015. He left to go to New, uh, Ladysmith or Newcastle for some family thing. Yeah. Then he came back and he's with us. So yeah, we both families. I mean, we, you know, that's the way we are. We're not a, a, a dictatorship here. Yeah. We we work together. We party together. We enjoy ourselves. We go for shows. We do everything together. Yeah? It's a brotherhood. That's it. And that's then um, it. we see you've got the the chop bonnet there. What inspired that? There was a blue E30 in the UK. I saw that car in 2019. And he had a very nice flushed engine bay, but he had the original M20 motor in it. So my uh, already I was like, you know what, damn, when I when, when I do build this car, I want to go with the flushed engine bay. Then I saw him do the chop bonnet. But most of them all chopped the bonnet straight. Yeah. Everybody chopped the bonnet straight. What I did differently was I took the, or, uh, the original bonnet when it sits here. Yeah. It has the curve that curves according to the windscreen yeah i kept that curve and i curved it exactly the same so that it gives you that oem look type of uh, basically vibes from there you know so i did ours difference and so far i think ours is the only one that is actually cut this way everyone else has been cut uh, basically straight off from there so um do you drive the car i drive the car with the bonnet like Just that, like cops this. don't give you the any cop, issues. The cop when he asked me where's the bonnet, I sent him, there's the bonnet. Yeah, bonnet. no, it's not the, the whole bonnet. The everything but is there. And then obviously the day of toys for boys, it started storming. So in a case like that, you don't the care cars, the electronics. The car stood it in the rain, it rained crazy. But then when they called us up for best of show, the car started up one shot. And one I shot. And I went. And then uh, you said you have Spatronics management Spatronics system. Spatronics Mercury yeah. management system, yeah. It's got all that... Uh, launch control and pops and bangs function but i don't like all of that nonsense so i just leave it plain and simple and that's how we are yeah. and then uh, exhaust system you just go 
you're not a branch and a free flow? I've got a custom branch and free flow made for me. Uh, it's done by TNT exhaust system in Germiston. Yeah. They did it. Only thing I regret is that I never had a ceramic coated to make it like black. But yeah. that's on the cards, yeah. We will definitely do that. Eventually, because yeah. it's an ongoing project. It's All ongoing, these cars yeah. are ongoing projects. Yeah. Eh? And then um when I initially saw it, I obviously thought it's a 328 engine because yeah. guys use multi valve, but you told me that this is a 330 this engine. A 330 motor. So what happened was is when the motor in Madame started giving me problems, I bought another motor for Madame. Yeah. And I kept that old motor. So I got a got myself a very good engineer. He managed to get the, the motor perfectly done. And my mechanic from uh, um Master Conversions, they're also here in Delpa. They're the guys that put the whole motor together. They did everything, fitted it in for us, did the wiring of the management system, the tuning, the dyno tuning. Basically, they did all of those things for us. And uh, the car goes well. The car is very quick. Yeah, if you guys uh, are into the spinning scene and you watch the spinning content on this channel, you'll know that this motor is where they get the crank for those 2.9 and 3 litre strokers that they the build. Conversions for the M20 series. Yeah, no, what's, what's the crank? The C38. C38, no? The C38 is actually from the 328. 328. The 328 motors, yeah. So, yeah, they're building strokers out of these engines and that's where they're getting the power. Unfortunately, you spin the car, it only lasts for three months. Yes. But like this, it should last for 20 years. But, uh, truth be said, I don't play, I drive the car. I spin the car if I get a chance when I'm with my uh, nephew or my niece with me. My daughter as well, she drives the car now and then. So, we, I drive it. I so, it's all it. about enjoying the car. It's yeah, not, man, a, it's not a, a show a, car. It's not a trailer queen or a garage queen or something. We jump in, we drive, we enjoy it. And that's how it must be. So, um, seeing that you have the new engine, did you also swap for the new gearbox? Or did so, this guy has got the 330 gear motor. It's got a 328 gearbox. Okay. And I've got the original 325 IS Duff on it. So, is that 328 gearbox 6 speed or 5 no, speed? Five speed it's five a 5 speed. speed. Yeah. And then uh, Duff? So it can spin if you want it to. She, you heard, man, he, he, he drives this car. It's she not a. Her, she, she moves her ass when you really need it to. It's not a garage queen. And no. this used to be his daily. So yeah, this daily. was a 318. 318, yes. It was in quite good nick. I'll put some pics up onto the screen so that you guys can actually see what the car looked like yep. and what the color was like before. And you can see that there's a lot of work that went into it. Yeah, definitely. It's like the wheels as well. If you look at it, these are called VS flowers. Yeah. They do not come out with those gold studs. Yeah. They usually they come out. They come out with the smaller studs. But what we did was, is I had the, the faces machined, and I had the bigger gold studs fitted onto it. As it stands, I, this is the only set that's done like that. And this obviously is a three-piece wheel. Three-piece wheel, yes. So, um, you big on your three-piece wheels because I see the other car also all has three-piece wheels. The cars so, it. if need be, you can just swap out some pieces from one to that's the how other. We do it. That's how we do it. So, like with this set, is the same set I had my LS wheels on it. I just swapped the faces out and I put the faces for the flowers in there. I see you've got these uh, little nuts in here. So these aren't the normal nuts that you get on the car, but obviously to fit them on here, you've used they those... They're tuner nuts. Tuner nuts. That's so uh, yeah, as you guys can see there, they use the tuner nuts to, to make it fit. Um, there's nothing for a works wheel, guys. Nothing for a works wheel. Yeah. Right? Works at BBS, that's good. Then um, brakes, obviously. I've. These are still the original brakes, okay. so we are in the process of upgrading because I want to go with the bigger E36 brakes. Uh, I've got a set of M3, uh, E36 M3 uh, discs and the calipers and everything, so the car will get a 5 hole conversion, so it will have the, the nice... Uh, yeah, so no. the big brakes so the these time. wheels uh, you can give them to me when you make it five <laughs> old <laughs> you can see on the back as Manny said he needs to upgrade 318 didn't come with disc brakes all around so you can see there there's drums at the back but he is intending on upgrading it and then he'll go with that five old setup uh, a lot of the guys who do it if they build ISs and it's also got messed up yeah. suspension they usually uh, go with the E36 suspension That's and exactly. then that gives them that ability and the nice thing is that you can buy new parts E36 brand new hubs and stuff like that and there's no issues with it. So if you look at it check the mileage on the car that's the original mileage that the car does. So there we go guys. 
294,103 and uh, how many years have you owned it? 12 years you've owned it and the car is uh, what model? Uh, uh, 92 92 models so from 92 guys there hasn't been much put on to this guy you can also see that lovely Momo steering wheel there and they obviously covered it in house as well with the same material to match the seats a little bit of a background that Momo steering wheel I bought it for my other BMW it's also the Bauer the E30 the convertible yeah I bought that in 1998 and you've been keeping it I all along 1998, yes. so a lot of the parts you see here Manny has been collecting for years guys this is what happens with projects like this lots of detail gone into this build small things like this guys I mean look at this we've got brushes over here brushes for the boot inch to go into yes <laughs> those are the types of details you look for on these vehicles look how lovely the M sits in there so if you look at the board there it's actually got that little cut out there as well just to match the shape of the amp it's not a completely rectangle shape and yes it can't be easy getting that there but obviously they have the we've cnc the, machine no we've got that was done before cnc like i said this boot setup was done in 2016. okay so the yeah. boot setup's been here for quite a while yeah this boot setup was 2016. all we did was we changed the color when we did the whole color change and we changed the, the floor when we did the air setup in the car so this here that's the that's tank, the tank yeah also covered in that same Alcantara, uh, yes. same Alcantara material it's very well hidden it's only now that I'm noticing it that I'm looking closer that it's it's round it's like wow. a definitely definitely a, a mighty build guys that's a name you guys need to remember potent car audio yeah we're 25 years in the game man 25 years of We're experience yeah, no. You can check the, the boot spoiler as well there. Lovely boot spoiler. You heard how, how uh, softly the boot closed there. So, uh, definitely been, been built well, guys. IS body kit on a four door. That's a first for me. First for me. And we also went with a full cherry tail lights, proper Euro spec. And that uh, you also imported? No, that we done in house. In house as well. Just doing some that we did in house. There's a lot that they can do here, guys. This team is capable of doing quite a bit. Let us know in the comment section what you think, guys. And then um, also. And then also, uh, Manny and the Potent Car Audio team are starting a YouTube channel, yes, guys. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So you guys can follow them and you can check out uh, the type of cars that they're going to be building. He's going to be featuring his own cars, yeah. customers' cars. So what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to do some uh, um, tutorials as well. So even if you want to learn how to do some stuff, we'll have a section where we'll do tutorials. We're going to do uh, reviews. We'll do car audio reviews. We'll do uh, air system reviews. We'll be doing a lot of those things. So uh, have a look. Yeah, stay tuned. It'll be something good. I'll definitely link the channel uh, into the video guys or I'll put it at the bottom. Uh, Suli. Suli is the social media manager so he's getting the, the YouTube channel off the ground there. Uh, I'm gonna be working closely with him so that this video will be released when their first video launches as well. So we can push some traffic towards uh, their YouTube page. So uh, SB Media Works. He does all the the social media for them as well. You gotta give him a follow as well. Suleiman Bismillah on SB Media Works. Let's check out the logo there, guy. Uh, where uh, else can they find you? TikTok, I know Facebook, for sure. Instagram, we'll see you. Yeah. Our usual. So that's the logo. That's the man behind it. We've got him live here with all the with all the fans on the page. SB Media Works, baby. Shout out to Sean from Skidmore. What's up, guys? So, um, 
Yeah, no, I'm actually here to feature the guy in the in the Citizen newspaper. Yeah. This here is just for uh, for the skid marks page for you guys that have been asking me for more E30 content. What better E30 content than this, guys? Exactly. Yeah, no. It's very hard to try and compete with this. Just by the way. Exactly. Yeah, no. So, uh, guys. Try Ibi. Call him. Ah, Ibi is too cool. Ibi shout. Okay, put him next on, man. And you see there in the back. That's not the only car they have there. Uh, that's Madame over there. That's the E46. Car was built in four days. Four days, guys. Yes, I like to pump four days. See you there, madam. Compressor in the spare wheel bay. Nice setup there on the tank with lovely stickers. Um, yeah, no, these are subwoofers here on the side. Yeah, side panels hmm. on it. That's Can lovely be because you can't even see the subwoofer, it protects it well, you see. Actually, sub is in the is that... compartment, these are... Oh, so it faces oh, out this way, yeah. Into the boot we need, uh, need be. So there you go, guys. That is where the sub is. Those panels on the side are just to pop it out for access in the boot. It's also got the Alcantara roof. And once again, all of this done in-house. Yes. Seats as well. It's gone with that lovely red interior. Wow. That it's gives it's off that M3 it's vibes. Actually it's actually called Magma Orange. Uh, so this color was the color that came out on the F10 M5s. And then um, management system you're running here? Uh, I've got a P7 on here. P7 yeah. management system. And also uh, a... Um, this one has got uh, feel air. Feel air. Yeah, it's got feel air on here, but very nice system. So you guys can see there, if you uh, look at the car quickly, you definitely think it's an M3. Obviously, yeah. uh, it doesn't have the M3 fenders, but it definitely, when I saw it at the show, I thought it was an M3 at first. And uh, this one there, you see is potent too, like I said. Potent O over there, and then we've got uh, potent 1 as well, which is the E36. The E36. Then uh, this one here, yeah, I gotta show you. Guys, yes, dear, this is a lovely Super 10. Yeah. Um, My father bought it brand new in 1982. Also, another car that is owned by uh, Potent Car Audio and the family. Because the whole family is into cars. And what, what's big in here is uh, the sound the setup. Stuff. It's always been big for sound. Manny was telling me uh, yeah. this is how he used to kick it to school, him and all his we brother. We drive to school with us in uh, the 90s, playing Snoop Doggy Dog, Dr. Dre. Yeah, this was our, our, our school wagon, yeah. Yeah, no I'm up here, no allowed in this ah, car. Ah, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to come now, uh, event wagon. Yeah, no, that would be cool, eh? If you I eat took, it and I get... Took, I took it to campus and this yeah. thing caused such a stir. Uh, I created uh, some people even started crying they were like oh my father had this van I'm like it's not your father's van it's my father's van <laughs> so um, you want to take us through to the yeah. workshop let's check a couple of uh, other cars you got there the, the, the E36 in particular yeah so that I always said it uh, it's the E46 M3 throttles um, I've got the adapter made already for it and the throttles is getting done, so this is the next big mod that is going to be coming onto Shadow. Individual throttles, guy, giving it that M3 feel. Yeah. More of an M3 That's feel. It. So, um, Manny owns the property next to his house as well. They purchase the property so that they can have more workspace for the workshop. Yeah. You can see here they've got some boxes here carpentry area you've got some nice uh, saws so this is our, our work area I mean our woodworking area so we've got our table saw over here we've got the router tables on the side mm -hmm. so it shows you that um, we've got all the tools necessary tools to build whatever it is that's needed like here we're busy with the E30 project so we got ourselves a, a aftermarket IS kit yeah um, so it happened to be quite a lot bigger than what it was for the vehicle so we managed to cut it shorten it 
we've got all the tools necessary tools to do the plastic welding we do everything in house yeah i know guys you see here this is a m3 e46 m3 we're doing a full air suspension setup uh we're doing sound we're doing proper set of wheels on it as well so that's you gonna see be... the the shocks and springs are out there yeah so this one is getting a full uh uh, air suspension sound getting everything this is the r32 golf we're doing full everything on it as well the full boot setup the whole lot and this one's out of the country we see yes. there uh, yeah so guys from international borders coming to this come and do their from cars from Namibia yeah. then we had cars from Botswana we had cars from all over the show that came through for us to build as well yeah over here behind many you can see the fiberglassing going this on this is there. for this particular van over here so uh this um, this van, if you have a look here, check the mileage. Just this. This guy is brand new. Not even a tank of petrol used yet. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we're doing a big sound system in the car. We're doing a three-way system in the front. We're doing uh, two twelves. We're doing something quite nice. So this car's got only three hundred something k's on the clock. And this is the one we're doing. We see the, the spray booth over there where, yeah. where Suli is going. So, um, so you guys, um, obviously you're working on such a new car. You guys got to be like RMI approved so and what, check. what, no? Yeah, this is the E30 that we're building. So okay. we did the full body kit on it. This car's got a 1J motor in it. Yeah. So we are doing, the car came to us like this. So we're doing a full wire tuck as like how your toy is got. So we already started with the relocation of all the... Uh, the wiring we're going to be doing the shaving of all the unnecessary pieces that's going to be here in so we did all of that we're fitting the body kit fitting up everything getting it all done we had a sunroof fitted on as well the sunroof is from an e30 ce the 5 series i think so we fitted it on there as well so that's a bigger sunroof so, yeah, well. bigger sunroof we're doing that we're getting it all 100 percent sorted out uh we got the body kit all nicely fitted on here this guy is getting a complete interior. This guy is basically a full, full complete build. So it's going to be full respray, full interior, sound system, everything getting done on this car. Ah, yes, um, body kit, whatnot. Yeah. So it's going to look a lot like yours, but obviously it's just two door. Two door, yes. And then, um, do you guys, when you do spray it, you're doing inside, outside? So As it is now, this car is going to be stripped even further than this. You see, we take out all the windows. So yeah. we've only left the windscreen in for now. We only left the windscreen in for now and the, and the uh, back part. But that's all coming out when we do the spray. When we spray, we strip completely. Fenders off, doors off, windows out. We do everything like that. And you can see it's quite nice here because this metal once again is bent. Yes. Uh, that's not usually with these aftermarket sunroofs. You have this thick black rubber that goes here, yeah. but now you can see here this has been bent so that the we, housing can fit we properly. It. We 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 actually uh, because of us putting the sunroof in, we cut the support out in the middle. Okay. We actually that's why you have these welds over here. We actually welded another support in okay. so that it prevents and it makes it actually quite stronger. Yeah, you guys can see there the support has been put back in. Yeah. Not like some of these Owens that build it and they put no support in, guys. Yeah. You must be very careful who does your signer because that can affect the structure of the car. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So once this guy is done, it's going to be it's gonna be something really nice as well. So so, so this car, we're going with an OEM 325 IS color. We're going with some something nice, something really nice. We don't want to give away too much. So at least the people can come back and stay tuned and come back to see how we're doing other stuff as well, you know. And you can see there again that Spectronic management system. You know, it differs from guy to guy, but uh, a lot of guys like Spectronics because of the yeah. features that are available on it. Yeah, so it's just uh, our spray boot is a bit yarma car now because we strapped and we've got so much of things around. But everything gets cleared out, everything gets cleaned up, everything gets wiped down before we do any of the spraying. We've got an industrial uh, 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 extractor here as well. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to hear how it sounds, it sounds proper. So you'll feel it when it pulls, it starts pulling like crazy. Yeah, so, guys. So that's to make sure that there's no dust in here no while. Dust, no overspray, nothing. 
get the best uh, finish. Uh, and Shadow was actually sprayed in this very same spray boot. We actually built this for us to to spray that particular car. So uh, yeah, I know they built the boot. Everything here done on their own, guys. Yeah. Still by the, inst uh, the 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 extraction system. Yes. So uh, they not only good at fabricating cars. They can do a lot more than that. Yeah. So uh, now we're on the hunt for potent one. So this red car over here won uh, best golf seven at Campfest. <laughs> so this car won best golf seven at Campfest. It came to us directly the Monday after Campfest to be okay. rebuilt. We won't uh, say anything else, but uh, yeah, no. it's getting fully rebuilt. If you can look at the. The, the inside how it is it's getting a rebuild that's the best car at camp fest guys got high standards you win the best car and then you rebuild it the next week yeah. <laughs> so if you ever look there we're busy doing some interior work now the cars are the leather is just baking a bit in the sun yeah so this is for a mazda rustler bucket that we are doing so that's how we are seeing it from there so and this is this is scarlet this is my my favorite she's not in looking very good right now but uh stay tuned stay tuned yeah i know guys you see a lot done here as well you or immediately see we've got m3 seats in here the dark vaders we've got a works wheel again Proper. you know uh, many loves his works wheels got the air set up over there and um, compressor management system and over my, here my fuel is in the corner there see over there yeah, that's my fuel. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> to keep Manny's <laughs> tank on full. Potent car audio again. See so a yeah, lot. She's looking a bit shabby now, but uh, I'm just waiting for some time. Then we're going to. I'm going to bring her back, and I'm gonna bring her back with vengeance. Renovate. <laughs> like I said, this is my favorite. This is this is my my favorite car. I will sell everything else besides this car. Uh, no, 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 that is not for sale. <laughs> that is, don't, don't even ask. That, that car will, this car will never be for sale. I'll, I'll sell my nephew, I ah, won't sell ah, the car. Ah, ah. And then this, uh, got the stock 328 engine. No, nope, this car is modified like crazy. So this one is modded, guys. This when one, we, when we runs. have time and the car's done, we come back and we feature this one yeah. as well, guys. See, many loves his BMWs. Potent 0, 1, and 2 are all BMWs. Maybe 3 will be a VW so you uh, no, can no, go no, no. to camp uh, fest. The way it is is that I need the E30, E36, E46, E92, F80. That's so you I'll want stop. the whole line of cars. That's where I'll stop. To our upholstery, we've got our... We've got our single stitch machine, we've got our double stitch machine, so all upholstery gets done in-house. Nothing is outsourced, no matter what uh, anybody dare to say, mm -hmm. but uh, here every single thing gets done in-house. Yeah, you heard it from many himself, yeah. guys. I see a huge box there in the bag. That, is the, like, yes. that is the new setup for my father's Super 10. Four eighteens. Four eighteens in a super ten Four guys. 18, so, <laughs> yeah, so it shows you our 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 own vehicles, uh our own vehicles oh. they take a back step, you know, customers' cars come first. Uh ask him if you'll take ninety K for what? I don't know, maybe for the bumper. I don't know, ninety K for what? The white beer. You can take a Rizex for ninety K. Ninety K doesn't even cover <laughs> what I spent on the engine in that car. <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, where many and the guys do the interiors. So, and a, a quick uh, update for you guys, just to show you something about custom. This is a custom wheel that we did for the E46 entry. Mm. I see schnitz. Yep, but we did it differently. It's a three-piece wheel. Ooh. So we did the, the work barrels and everything with the schnitz of faces in it. So something custom, it's going to be on the M3. Wow, so. and then uh, who does your wheel work? We do, uh, I send it to Dion at Professional Make Repairs in Benoni. Okay. Or High Tech. Or oh, High Tech. Yeah, I know you can see it shining there, that uh, diamond there's a, polish there's a, there. there's a third guy now as well. 
uh, but all will be revealed soon. Yeah, he is still busy. Uh, he's been posting, but uh, I won't say much more after about that. Uh, when he's done with the wheels, then everybody will see. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Oh, Sully taking a break there. You see all the camera equipment. It's never easy, guys, being a social media yeah, manager. No, it's never easy yeah, out here. You must ask me while they're while they busy. Yeah. Mm. Shavan's sure, been on the live, eh? Well done, homie. Thank you, Costa. Now you're any strong. Owens are live there. Yeah, potent. So, uh, potent car audio. Follow them on. That's on. TikTok. On TikTok, guys. Yeah. Potent car audio and then they Facebook on. and Insta, yeah. Facebook, Insta as well. Follow the guys. Mm. So you can keep and uh, get updated on the projects that they're doing because yeah, they post it. a lot of the work on the page. Yeah. Oh. And a lot. Yeah, I know, guys. So, um, Manny, thank you so much oh, for showing so much us for around the shop. Eh? We yeah. really appreciate it. I'm sure the Skid Marks fans also appreciate it. Uh, guys, follow Manny. I'm going to link that uh, YouTube channel. Their channel is launching with this video. So when yes. you see this video, the channel will be live, hopefully with this first video. Yes, we, we are going to. So we want to do a nice rundown of everything and show all the stuff that we're doing in, as, uh, as a team. And then we'll take it. We've already got the first car lined up that we wanted to do. And uh, we're going to be doing every single car that we build. We'll do a full walkout, a full uh, go through the car, show you everything that's done. And that's how it's going to be done from there. After the in between the others. Yeah. Then I wanted to ask you, man, the, 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 the skid marks. Is it uh, skid marks of cars or skid marks in trousers? No, nah, definitely of cars. <laughs> eh? The ones we leave behind on the ground. <laughs> Any anything that goes fast can burn rubber and leave skid marks on the ground, and no, that's where I the name so. came from. Yeah, I don't know so. <laughs> guys, thanks so much for watching. So much, we appreciate so it, and thank you for all the support. We can't say thank you enough, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, like, share with your friends and family, and have a good evening. Yeah, thank Take you, James. Cheers.